Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Rebel Clash video. Um, so before we do end the video, guys, I am gonna kind of start things off here on a bit of a, like a sad note. Um, but basically, the reason I have not uploaded a video in two days is because my dog Misty passed away at 14 years old on Saturday morning. It was I I knew this was coming. Um, I I knew her time was coming soon. I kind of prepared for it. Literally, the, the launch day of Rebel Clash, kind of after I streamed and made my video, uh, she, I think she had a stroke, and it was it was horrible. And I, like, the whole day, I was just, like, really sad. Um, but I, I, I knew this was coming for quite a while now. Um, I just needed a few days off to kind of just mentally mentally recharge myself. I just, you know, just, you know, when you lose a dog, uh, the house feels so empty. There's not much going on. Um, it's quiet. It's just weird, and it was, you know, really hard to process a lot of it. So I had to take a few few days off, and honestly, using, going back to making videos, it's like, well, when I make a video, I need to have the, I need to have energy, I need to have do this, I need to do that. Uh, but when I can go back to making videos now, I can use it as a way to help take my mind off things, help cheer me up, which I, I do think recording videos does. I think it does, you know, make makes me feel good, makes me feel better. So I'm hoping that's what I can do now because I didn't know if I could make a video for quite a while just knowing, you know, how sad I was, you know, it just wasn't really, was really a thing. I just want to get that out of the way. Um, just wanted to explain it and kind of just vent a little bit, I guess. Um, best way to put it. So yeah, today's video is going to be on the Kartana Garboder deck. So I've gotten this deck requested quite a few times actually on the channel. Um, so the whole idea of this deck is you're going to be using a false swipe here, which is on a coin flip, but of can we do have will in the format. So we play will, uh, we guarantee the heads on the false swipe, and we use Garboder's ability, Poisonous Puddle, and poison them, and then they will get knocked out by false swipe, um, which is kind of the whole idea of the deck. And the reason this actually can work now a little bit easier is because we actually do have twin energy which allows you to use Kartana's full swipe attack for two energy. So we are going to be using twin energy with Kartana here, and that is going to be the whole combo of the deck. It's Garbota, twin energy, Kartana. So yeah, before we get the video, guys, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Kartana TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, guys, uh, head them over to Kartana TCG. Of course, guys, if you have any codes uh, or cards laying around that you don't want to use anymore, you can trade them in to Kartana TCG for some cash or in-store credit. Um, and they will give you some of that for your unused codes and cards. Of course, guys, though, if you are still looking for codes in general, guys, head, over, head over to Cargram TCG. If you guys are still looking for Rebel Clash codes, Team Up codes, and Broken Bonds codes, Evolution Kit codes, any certain GX codes, or maybe if you're trying to pick up Zacian V10 codes, if you can get them in stock, get them over at Cargram TCG. If you get anything from there, guys, use my discount code, code LDF at the checkout. It'll get you a 5% discount on your purchase. It's Sports Channel. Hop stuff out and helps out Car Kevin TCG too. So shout out to Car Kevin, check him out, use code LDF. So let's take a look at the list now. So um, this is what I've actually been working with. Now I am playing Sinchino and there's a big reason why I'm playing a draw support Pokemon in here. Uh, and that's actually because of Will itself. Um, when you play Will with Kartana and Garboder, you guarantee a knockout on anything, which is really good. But you're not playing a draw supporter, so obviously I'm going to be using Sinchinos to try to draw some cards so that we have our draw supporter for our turn, which will be Sinchino, which is the whole reason why I'm playing the will Sinchino combo. Um, so that's pretty much why that is in the deck. As my stuff in the deck, uh, pretty much just got Ditto, Mew, Jirachi, and Eldegoss for like kind of just other things that they usually do. Um, I will say this deck could maybe play some dolls or something because Kartana does need two energy to attack, which means you do have to build it up twice. So maybe playing a couple energy in here isn't the worst, or playing a couple dolls in here because you can just sit behind a doll while you manually build up Kartana. It's not the worst idea ever if you want to maybe try something like that out. Uh, yeah, going to the items now. I am playing a B-String. This kind of goes with that whole doll theory. Uh, we can use B-String here to build up our Kartana and then put a twin energy on or manually attach. I got one Evil Wind Sense because we have a lot of evolutions. One Great Catcher because you can will great catcher uh two ordinary rods to get our stuff back one pokecom four quick balls two switch three ultra space for the stadium because you need to save for garboder and instead of shrine we can play ultra space instead which finds us our cartanas which is pretty good one boss's order three cynthia four marnie one research three well i know the draw support is really weird uh, but i don't really want to play research and i don't really want to do research and draw cards plus we have the Sinchino draw engine um so i feel good with the spores i got i got two escape boards one base energy, four twin, and five basic grass energy. So yeah, this is my Kartana Garboder deck here. This is the list I'm rocking with. Again, it might be a little weird, but I like having this in Chino for the draw engine because when you play Will, you can't 
use in. Yeah, you could play Lieutenant Surge in here. You only really get a one-time use out of it, I feel like, because once you get a knockout with Kartana and it's not a tag team, you get three prizes, and then you don't really get to play Surge again. So I don't really like the idea of playing Surge in here. It's definitely a good idea. I don't know what I would take out. Only other things I would add in, again, dolls, maybe a couple more B strings so you can do that, like Kartana attack in one single turn. Uh, other than that, yes, yeah, my list. Let's go try it out. All right, guys, let's get into our first match with Kartana Garboda. We're playing against uh, Hugelis here, or whatever, and it looks like he's playing some kind of fire deck, uh, which hopefully we can take down. We are going to coin flip. He's going to let us go first, I'm guessing, because he's playing a Welder deck. Yep. Uh, we'll see if we can get a good start here. We do get a Kartana. We have no energy for it, though. That kind of sucks. Not having an energy is not ideal. Uh, Alright, never mind. We drew one. Alright, so... We have a lot we can do here. I'm going to quick ball away the Cynthia. I'm going to get me a Jirachi, I think, for cannon fodder. I don't really think the Kartana can die, though, to this, because he needs four energy. I don't think he'll even get there, but just to be on the safe side. Uh, we'll take the Cinch. We don't really want to reveal the Garboder. He doesn't know what I'm playing. Uh, let's Pokecom. Uh, I can either get a Trubbish or a Cinchino or Minchino. I kind of want to get a, a Minchino, in all honesty. Uh, but we can knock him out next turn, maybe, so we just take the Trubbish, I guess. We just retreat into Jirachi. And maybe hit like a quick ball again. We get an Ultra Space and a Cynthia. I actually think we'll take the Cynthia because I don't really want to play the Ultra Space just yet. We don't need to. And if I save my Marnies for when he does Brilliant Flare, I think that's actually just better. Because obviously that's one way we can get rid of his hand is through Marnie. So yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. And as it just puts two tag teams in play. I mean, that's our pretty much win condition right there. Uh, dealing with the Volcanians might be a little annoying, though. There's a Caitlyn Cynthia for my opponent. Uh, gonna get rid of a Fion. Oh, okay. They could have actually played that, which could have been a little awkward. But I guess since he's not taking a prize, it wouldn't matter too much. Hmm. There is the double GX cards. And he doesn't have a Welder here, right? Because he did Caitlyn Cynthia. So, yeah. But there's the double tag teams. There's our win condition. It's on board. We gotta just try to take out these two Zards, and uh, we will win. We'll see how we do. do I, maybe we should just Marnie him now. I mean, his hand it does have... He does have seven cards. He'll have eight cards. Yeah, I guess we Marnie him now. It's not the worst thing ever. Uh, let's see who we draw. Another Grass. Okay. Uh, we'll... We'll do the... We'll maybe get an Ultra Space, I guess. I don't know. No, we got no... Dang it. I shouldn't have done that. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Dang it. I was kind of like, maybe we can get Ultra Space, get another Grass Energy on a Kartana, get two built up, which I think is actually really good. Uh, we got the Garboder. We didn't get much else. I think we actually meant to play Eldegoss here, unfortunately. We're weak to fire. What are the odds he has a Switch, Welder, Double Blaze knock on our Kartana? I want to say the odds are very low. I think we'll just save the hand. Uh, we'll save the Quick Ball. We probably need it for, uh, what's his face? For, uh, for Eldegoss. We're probably going to get Eldegoss here. I could have gotten Minchino, but I think we'll just go for it. There's a chance Jirachi goes down, too. There's a chance this guy will KO my Jirachi. No, he doesn't. All right, we get another turn. Um, we'll get rid of Mew. Take a second Kartana. And we'll just go with Stellar Wish. Uh, all right, there's a Will. If we had an escape board or a switch here, we would have had the knockout on... No, we won't. We need the Ultra Space. We should probably just take the Ultra Space, maybe. Or should we just Marnie him? Maybe we should just Marnie. I mean, I know he's dead drawing, but... I need to start setting up a bit, too. I need to get Minchino, so... I'm just gonna go for the Marnie. Didn't get a Minchino. We did get an... We did get an okay amount of stuff, though. We can get the Kartana. Uh, we can Poisonous Puddle. And we get the extra energy on. I like that. And next turn, if we can get a switching card, we will knock out the break start here, and that'll be that. And then all we gotta do is find twin energy. We just haven't got a haven't gotten a Cinchino in play yet to try to dig for the twin energy. It's the only problem. Alright, counters the stadium, which is totally fine because as long as there is a stadium in play, it is all good. Uh oh, boss's order, that's bad. I mean he has three cards, he needs a lot to actually knock me out, so it's not too bad. Welder into the bench, Zard is smart. Does he have a switch? Did he hit a switch off of a welder? He got a quick ball. Alright, does he play Dedenne? 
I don't know if he's playing a greens build or not. I guess he's not. He's playing Fion. I'm guessing he's going to go for Dedenne here. Oh, no. He's playing Cinderace. All right. That's fine. That's fine by me. And just a pass. All right. So we need to get a switching card here so we can knock out the Zard. Uh, see if we can get it. No, we got a Cynthia, though. We'll take that. Just gonna have to keep gambling here until we can draw into a decent amount of stuff we need. Um, still no Mincino. Or, we haven't, wow, what the heck? I don't even know where they're at, though, bruh. Alright, we're gonna bench this just in case he knocks me out. Uh, I don't even know what to do with his hand. I mean, I want to play the grass. We can retreat next turn, I guess, if Jirachi wakes up. I guess, I don't really know. We need to find Zinchino. I mean, we can play passive, too, all we want. We can chill out for a little couple turns. It's not the end of the world. Uh, we're out of Cynthia's, though. So we're relying on finding Zinchino. Uh, he's going to pass, too. Uh, he doesn't have much, either. We've been bricking him a little bit, too, with our Marnies. There's a quick ball. All right. We'll get rid of one Kartana. I'm just going to get a Zinchino, or Minchino. I didn't think Eldegoss was in the deck there. I didn't see it. Um, okay. Stellar Wish for Switch. No. D we got a second Will and an Ultra Space. I'm going to take the Ultra Space so he doesn't get access to Heat Factory. N not much I can do, bruh. We have all... Yeah, we don't have Eldegoss. We have all our Sinchinos. We have one Quick Ball. I mean, I know I did get rid of the Evo Instance and Calm there. Probably doesn't help us too much. Uh, it is what it is. We're going to keep passing until we can draw into a switching card here. Not much more we can do. Very exciting match, I know, guys. Very, 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 very exciting. But, there's not much I can do about it. <laughs> not much I can do until my opponent, um... Until my opponent does anything. I mean, we can also just wake up here. If we wake up, I'm very tempted just to retreat. Like, we might as well. And then just take the knockout. I could also retreat and boss's order this out and then just gamble hope i get heads knocking out so i don't have to play the will so i think we'll just play the will though seems good to me well let's see what my opponent does if they i want to actually get the cinderies v max in play just so we can also then we just have nothing on board that can be knocked out oh boss's order they're gonna bring in the cartoon with a twin do they have a switch they do not why would they do that what the heck was the point of that all right very questionable play for my opponent uh, that just means now I can do this. Will. False swipe. I mean, we could have guaranteed. We could have just went for the coin flip and saved the will for the other Zard, I guess. Because I don't even know if he can even move this thing, but we might as well just take it. There's a... Okay, that can get us another thing. We just need a twin energy now. Uh, no, we got an ordinary rod. Alright, we just need an energy and we can false swipe knock out this maybe. We'll see how this goes. We'll see. I mean, he finally got the first, uh, he finally, finally moved me, which was good. Jirachi was just stuck. Alright. So if we can draw an energy here, we just win the game. Uh, we'll see if we can draw one. I'm gonna promote the Kartana. Alright, come on, energy top deck. And ask and you shall receive. We're just gonna go Will. Garboder. Kartana. Yeah, there you go. Boom. That's game. That's game. We could have gambled, too, obviously, if we didn't have the Eldegoss, but gambling's not good. You want to just take the knockout. And we got the knockout on the Zard there, and that's going to be game. We had an escape war prize. Go figure, I guess. Go figure. Let's see what we get out of this thing. Bunch of coins? 25 coins. No, rip. All right, guys, let's get into another game here with our deck. Uh, we're going to Apple Power here with what looks to be a possible uh, dark deck? Dark box, maybe? Something like that, I guess, is what they are playing. And we'll go for heads here. Do we win the coin flip? We do not. That's a rip right there. And yeah, they're probably playing Dark Box, which again, if they have two tag teams, that's all we gotta do. You know, just like in that first game, you just take out two tag teams. And you win the game, all right. And they're gonna let us go first. Okay, that's interesting. Um, we get a lone trouble start. Nothing too great. We have an escape board, so we go into Jirachi here. We can also get Mincino, because we have the Sinchino in our hand. Probably just go Drachi though. We'll see what they're playing. It's weird they're letting me go first. Oh, they're playing Malamar VMAX. Yikes. Maybe we should get the Sinchino in play then. Uh, this hand is not it though. This is not ideal. 
There's no point of even going for Drachi, because we're going to lose our hand anyways. And then we're going to get knocked out. Well, I guess they can't build... Yeah, maybe we have a couple turns. Yeah, I guess we got to go Drachi here. Alright, let's maybe try to get, like, an Ultra Space or something off this. There we go. We can get a Kartana and an Energy on it. Still wish I had a couple... Minchinos I can put down. Let's get the Kartana. Get energy on it. No, just pass. I mean, yeah, they get a Malamar VMAX in play. If we ever get a point where we knock it out with Kartana, that's going to be insanely funny. Yeah, I don't think we get knocked out here. They could drag me off, I guess, with like a counter gain. It's not really going to do much for them. That's fine. As long as there's a stadium in play, we are happy. And they just pass, so no Miss Maggie is for my opponent. It's actually pretty good for me. We'll get the Garboder down. We can actually poison my opponent. Not going to make a difference, but... We're going to do it anyways. All right, we're looking for a supporter here, Jirachi. And there we go. We got a Cynthia. Now we're looking for maybe a couple Minginos, maybe? I don't know. I mean, we could knock them out here if we can get a bunch of good stuff, but I don't think we'll get there. All right, yeah. We got a Minchino at least. Uh, we'd have an Orne Raw. We have a Mew. Let's play the Twin and pass. All right, I'm assuming my opponent's going to go off next turn and take a knockout. I mean, I guess they knock me out. We also lose our Marnie. Maybe we should have retreated. Uh, well, we can't retreat. Maybe, I don't know. We should, maybe we should have done something different there, I guess. I don't know. Not much I really could have done. We were just kind of stuck. But, uh, we can, we can knock out the Malamar next turn anyways, right? We have, as long as they don't, like, bosses order me or Pokemon catcher me or something. We should be good. And if we get, like, at least one Cinchino in play, we'll have a little bit of draw engine kind of out to the Malamar here. But let's see, they have the Miss Magius to go off. No, they're gonna drag off. They're probably gonna bring in the Garboder, I'm guessing. Oh, they bring in the they bring in the Minchino, which is interesting. What does the second attack do? 130 and confuse. I, mean, I guess we'll Marnie them. I mean they're not playing anything, but I gotta get a better hand. And there we go, we got a switch and an energy. So actually I got a lot of good stuff here. Uh we can go here. Go here. We can switch into the Kartana. And we can actually just try to go for the knockout here, which I'm very tempted to. Um, let's go for it. YOLO. Oh, we got it. Let's go. We don't even have to play Will. We just take a knockout just like that. I think they're going to concede now. They didn't even get a Malamar in play. Uh, that's looking pretty good for me. We got a we got a Cinchino in play. We got Garboder. We got Kartana. We got another one with an energy on it, too, which means we have another retaliation effect. We have a Drachi in play. And they don't even have a Malamar in play, so I mean, we just won the game just like that, it looks like. Let's see if they continue on in the match. They might. They might stay in the game. No, Pokegear fails. There you go. Boom. So, yeah, we just took the risk with the Kartana's full swipe attack. And, yeah, we just so happened to hit the energy, or hit the uh, heads there to knock out the Malamar to take a nice clean double over my opponent's Malamar deck. I, the Malamar Miss Maggie's deck, I never really liked. Um, mainly because I feel like it's too slow, it's, like, using counter gain to build up Malamar is, it's too slow in my opinion. I just don't like that deck. I, I, I didn't like it. I tried it. It wasn't very good. So that's why I think the Malamar Dark Box deck was better. I also maybe want to, I want to try out Malamar Electrode. I haven't really built, like, an actual, like, proper list yet. I don't really know how to build the deck just yet. I'm working on a Malamar VMAX Electrode deck. I'll probably do a video on it very soon. I just have to kind of perfect the list. I don't really know how I like it just yet. All right, guys, getting into the first match here. My opponent was taking a very long time to put their stuff out. So I didn't really want to show it because it was just boring. No one wants to watch that. Um, so what we'll do, uh, do we want to Twin Energy the Kartana here? I think we will. I'm going to play the Twin Energy down because we have more grass and Twin. And I think I want to pass, right? Yeah. We are against the Pika deck. Not much else needs to be said. Um, but yeah, I just cut out that first bit. My opponent was taking a very long time to flip the coin and put their Pokemon down. And I hate when that happens. So we'll see if we can win this game. We might have to go through two, uh, three Pokemon. We have to go through a Pika, a Bolton, and a Pika. They actually just passed, though. Okay, that's really interesting. Um, let's do this. Get Kartana. We basically need to get a Trubbish here. Uh, we'll bench that, sure. Just, I guess, have to be in play. I don't know. If we don't get a Pokemon, we might have to like, give up a Kartana. Uh, we got a double quick ball. It's not really what I was hoping for. We'll take the Trubbish. 
Do I really want to go Jirachi here? Pro honestly, probably not. I mean, our hand's actually not that bad. Um, get rid of the Marnie. Get Sinchino or Minchino. Yeah, I'm not going to go Jirachi. Uh, maybe I should. I don't know. I want to just set up. I don't really think we need the Jirachi here. We don't even have a switching card for it. So that's why I don't really want to go Jirachi. I'd rather just kind of, you know, flow freely. Plus, we can just play Cynthia. We can go for another gamble shot next turn, I think, with False Swipe, which is what I'm going to do. Um, I guess we could have held the will, but I don't know. I want to keep the Beast Energy around so that we can have another energy here. We'll see if they have a Thunder Mountain, though. I'm a little worried that they might find it here. That will let them knock me out. Then we have to dig for Mew. Which is not going to be good. But they do have the two uh, tag teams in place. So at any point, we just got a great catcher knock this out. And they just pass. They don't have much either. It's pretty good. All right, let's go for the Cynthia here. Looking for Garboder. We got it. All right. And we got it. Got the, or the, ugh, I can't talk. <laughs> we got the uh, Cinchino here. Uh, we can make do away the Garboder. I guess. Uh, ooh, we got a great catcher. All right. So we can wait a turn. We have the will. Or we can just go for it. I'm just going to go for it. It's, I don't know if I really should. It's kind of risky. I should have all just paid for it to make do. My bad. Um, yeah, let's just go for it. Screw it. We're going for it. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. I mean, sure. I'll. Two heads in a row. We don't even need Will. It will at this point is obsolete. We might as well just take it out of the deck. That's nuts. That's nuts. I mean, our ideal setup is here. We got the Cinchinos. We got the Will in our hand. So. Pretty much our whole combo is activated, you know. We do the Cinchino, we draw cards, we keep spamming Will, big cut. So you kind of see the whole strategy. Yeah, that's why the... Yeah, see? Boom. Just, we made a Pika deck. I mean, bro. What was that, three minutes? Dude, these games have been, have been short, but that's the Cartana deck. Again, when you just play against a tag team deck and you just get the heads, it's just that simple to win. Um, honestly, though, I am maybe considering playing more searching cards after kind of not finding Pokemon. It might actually be best to maybe try to put in great ball or more pokey comms to be honest with you i think we maybe should consider doing that uh i don't know how to take out though all right guys getting into another game with cartana here we're up against a grass deck so this looks like it could be an egg row rillaboom deck definitely could be interesting but if they're just playing a tag team v max deck you know we should be good we do get to go first i'm gonna, be, I'm gonna go first maybe get an extra energy and play if we can I think it is worth it. And it looks like it did pay off. We got the energy. Um, not amazing stuff. We do have a few stage ones. But not a single Trubbish or Mincino. Not the greatest hand. Not the greatest top deck either, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, I think we're going to go Beast. What are the odds we live? Probably very high. We could probably avoid mentioning Mew altogether, which I guess is fine. We could also just go into the Mew here. It can buy us a couple turns. There's no way he's going to donk me, though, I feel like. Like, there's nothing in his deck that can take me out. Well, I mean, we should bench the Mew anyways, just to have it in play. I'm trying to think. What could he do to donk me? I don't think he does have anything. I think we're just going to pass. I just... I don't see how he's going to knock me out here. I'm going to stay in the active. We can go for a false swipe anyways. We can try to get heads and just put the egg route down to like 10 HP and then maybe knock it out with like a big cut or something. Maybe. Depends if he does go into one here. I wish our starting hand was a little better. This is why I do have a decent amount of draw support in the deck to help us still get into better hands to set us up into conditions where false swipe does do its thing. We'll see if we can draw something though. Like even just getting Tr Minchino or Trubbish there would have been perfect. We had a lot of outs to getting into a better hand. So not getting there is a little annoying. He's going to Marnie me though, which is good. We are going to put the twins at the bottom of the deck, but we are going to get a new hand here. <laughs> I mean, we got two rods. At least we have a quick ball though, which is pretty good. We can go into Jirachi and hope to find a supporter. So it's not the worst thing ever. But he's got two Pokemon in play that are perfect. I don't know if he's going to evolve the Rillaboom. I mean, I hope he does. Because if he evolves Rillaboom, all we got to do is take out these two things to win. And all right, we topped a Marnie. We don't have to play a Jirachi. But I think we still want to go into one regardless. And we don't want to whiff an energy here off of our Marnie. That would also really suck. We do whiff one. It's a little tragic. Yeah, we do get the Quick Ball, though. We can go into... Get another... Get the Minchino. Go into the Jirachi. 
Stellar Wish. Take the Marnie. Yeah, seems good. Or we actually should take Calm for Garboder. That's fine. We'll take the Marnie. I think we just want to go Marnie anyways. I think we're going to have to kind of sit back for a bit. It sucks we didn't get the uh, energy attachment there. You never want it with an energy attachment. This is maybe where we should maybe put in a couple more B-Strings. Because with the B-String, it allows you to build yourself up. We'll see. He might Marty me again, which I'm actually fine with because his hand is a little weak sauce other than other than having the Sanchino guaranteed. All right, it looks like he's going for that Rillaboom, so he puts that down. Now, there is a chance my opponent has an energy and a boss order in their hand, which would suck a lot. He could knock out Trubbish or Kartana, which would be very unfortunate. So I got to hope he doesn't have... I know, he's actually going to build a Rillaboom, which means he's probably not going to attack me this turn, which is good. We get another turn of setting up, which seems good to me. Seems good to me. Let's see what he does. He might just uh, put another Rillaboom into play, maybe, if he has another Grookey. Because I don't know why he wouldn't build up his active. He does have Boss Sorter. What, does he have a Switch? What was the point of that? He can't even knock out Trubbish here. Whoop. Okay, I'm fine with this. Unfortunately, we don't get to take advantage of that. Alright, we can Marnie. No energy. Wow, what the hell? Can't find one today, apparently. Energy's there. We have two escape boards, two switches also. Hopefully we can move the Trubbish here, because it's looking like we're going to get KO'd. Come on, give me some way to move. Didn't find a way to move. That is very unfortunate. That's not good. We could just go Garboder here and poison him. This forced him to actually go into the Rillaboom. I think we just take a second Trubbish, though. Just play it safe. That really sucks. Not getting the way to retreat this thing is kind of annoying. We even still can't find energy, which is very, very bad. So we're off to a pretty rough start here. That boss's order is super annoying. That's one of the things I don't like about this deck is boss's order is a huge problem for you. He could also Tropical Hour reset me completely, which is super annoying, too. Oh, we needed to move the Trubbish there. So not getting the Trubbish moving option sucks a lot. Yeah, he could have just went Malolana here. So it wouldn't even matter if we went Garboder. We just got to hope he doesn't have another uh, Trubbish or another boss's order. Gets rid of the egg round, the calm. he get a counter stadium, which I don't really care about. Oh, man, this sucks. This sucks a lot. We really, 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 really needed to get energy and a switching card. Not getting one there. It's really hurting us. This could be our third turn without getting energy. If we don't get one off the Cynthia here, that's going to blow a lot. So hopefully we don't with energy here. This is where I wish I had Shrine of Punishment, but I don't think you need it. You're always, always one card off, guys. Always one card off. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go Cynthia because I don't think we need to do Marnie. His hand doesn't have anything insane in it. Hopefully. Um, okay, so... We'll play this for another Kartana. We'll get rid of these... We'll get rid of one of these Machinos. Take the escape board. Um, so we can go into Mew here. I just pray he doesn't have another boss order. That's all I'm scared of. He could drop an Eldegoss out of nowhere too, which is pretty bad. I mean, I want to give up the Mew, but then I have to get a switch. And we have the guaranteed knockout. I think we just Lem knock out the Drachi. But I put the escape board on on the off chance he does do another Gust play here. So, seems fine to me. Shaman, all right, that's not a gust. He can attack me with it, which would be bad, because then I can't take out a tag team here. It looks like he might be going for that, which is pretty annoying. I'm glad he's not doing Tropical Hour GX. That would be really bad. All right, capture energy for a Grookey. No boss's order, please. We know he has a Malolana. It's the only card we know he has in his hand in a stadium. Please don't have a boss's order. If you have three cards, you have boss order, and I'm going to very be very, very big upset. Alright, nice. So 
We get a knockout here, which is good. And then he knocks me out with Shaman. And then we just got to try to knock out Rillaboom VMAX to win the game. So our game plan, our win condition is on board. We need to find energy this turn, though. So it's Evo Incense. Yeah, we really need to get energy here. So let's quick ball away Jirachi. Probably just going to bench the other Kartana. Do we have our B-String? We do. So we want to get that too, I think. Uh, we'll take Ditto. Because I'm just going to go Will here. I'm just going to make do away the Will. We'll be chilling. Didn't find energy. Rip. We'll still have our B-String turn though, which is good. We'll just bench the Ditto. And we'll Will. Alright, we got the Knockout. We got the knockout. The problem is, is can we recover? We have to deal with the Shaman. The Rillaboom VMAX is in play. I mean, if we had if we had the energy there, we could have went boss's order. Prize one, that's why. There's a twin. So we're gonna have to attach the twin and go for a B string here, I think, and then try to false swipe, maybe. I don't know if we can get there. If, if somehow miraculously we can boss's order twit and b string in the same turn maybe we can pull off a knockout here but if not we can knock out the shaman which is fine and we can still build this guy up no he's gonna marnie me ah oh, crap i didn't think he had that all right we still got energy we got another uh Sinchino, so that's good if he benches an egg route here we can also just win that way maybe by doing something there let's get another real boom okay little annoying that that Marnie hit me. That was a pretty good hand. But we have a uh, double Sinchino here to try to draw some stuff. We can sit back behind another Kartana too. It'd be nice if we could knock it out with Big Cup, but we can't. It's going to be a very close game, guys. This is definitely going to be a close one for sure. The Sinchino is definitely making its use. So I'm glad I put it in the deck combined with the Will. Maybe we should have made, played Lieutenant Surge in this deck, though, to be honest. Definitely some changes could be made to this deck for sure. I think maybe 2B String is good. Maybe more Ball Searching cards too wouldn't be bad. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so let's see what we get here. We could win here. If we could just get the B-String and the boss order somehow, that'd be great. We'll make do away Garbodor. That does sting, but we do have a Rene Rod. Got a Marnie. We'll put this in play. We'll make do away the Marnie. So we're just going to go Cynthia. I think that's our last Marnie. Okay, we didn't get it. We do have a quick ball though. We'll get rid of. We'll get rid of a twin. For that Kartana. Just to make sure we have two in play. Well, Cynthia here. Can we find the B string off of the Cynthia? We didn't. Even if we did, we had three energy in our hand, which is pretty bad. We're just gonna let the Mew get knocked out. He has three cards, he'll have four. Brain, he doesn't have boss order. <laughs> what? Are you kidding? This guy actually has oh my god, bro. That is now that's some funny stuff right there. That is funny. Now that is That's that's just that's hilarious, bro. That's literally that's that's amazing. That is actually amazing. He's gotta be out of grass energy too. Now, the game is not over just yet, believe it or not. There is still a chance of winning. Okay, so we'll bench the Trubbish. Uh, how many switches are left? Still both switches. Alright, we'll put that on there. Just in case he does another boss order. make do so speaking of which we're just gonna try to maybe go for that full swipe boss order but i don't even know boss order in the deck though to be honest to be honest uh we're gonna go here and then we're gonna probably ordinary rod two switches i mean we could just marnie him so i wish i knew if i had boss order in the deck <laughs> let's just go for the ordinary rod Do we, I don't think we need the energy anymore. So I think we can actually just get two Pokemon back. 
I guess for Cartana gets knocked out, we need the energy. I do want to get the Garboters back. And what else would I want back? I guess like... Trubbish Garboder? I don't know. We could just go research here too and just dump the hand. Which I think I will do. I don't know if boss orders in the deck or not. It is, okay. Alright, we just pray he doesn't have a, another boss's order in his hand of four cards. And we will just try to boss order win the game next turn. That's pretty much our plan. Alright, nice. No boss order. Unless he plays catchers, which I don't think he does. He could reset Stammy. We have double Cinchino and like not many cards left. So yeah, next turn, we're pretty much just going to rely on getting heads here on false swipe. It's risky, but unfortunately, due to the events of how this game played out, that's going to have to be what we have to do is we just got to hope we get heads on false swipe. And you know what? That'll be a fun way to end off today's video on the Kartana deck. So we're just going to go for it. Unless he's crazy and, and actually does retreat into Rillaboom, which would make no sense. But if, if he did that, then I guess we could just go... How much energy is that, bro? I swear this guy was out of energy. Bro. No, he played Energy Recycler. That's why. So. We're just going to pray for the whole... The, the heads. The hope. The heads. The hoes. The hoes. The hoes. The hoes. I don't even know. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Garboder. We could also trap this... But he, he's probably got four switches. He has he's Malalon is still in this deck. I right, never mind. We're not gonna bother trying to trap that thwacky. So he's probably out of energy, but I think it's not worth it. I think we just gotta try and YOLO it, guys. Here we go. This is the most intense part of this video is getting heads without the will. If only I did play Lieutenant Surge. Is what it is. Alright, here we go, guys. Will we get heads on false swipe? Here we go. Here goes nothing. No. <gasps> no false swipe oh my god how many tails did we get this game I, don't th I think it was only three three tails flipped on our end all right Cartana guys doesn't really want to work for me in that end there but you know what I think we still had fun with this deck we did troll a lot of people we took out quite a few Pokemon with this deck uh, definitely I think some changes could be made to this I think we definitely should maybe play more B-string I think a couple more B-string would be good maybe play a couple more energy if you want to go that route uh, but again with the twin energy it's not too bad um, I really wish, I really, really wish we had experience share in the format. That'd be a perfect card to play in this deck, but we don't. Um, the whales are nice. Uh, maybe Surge is good in here. I don't really know. Uh, the deck still played fine for us. We just got really unlucky there at the end. If only he had another egg round play, we could have used Grey Catcher instead of Boss's Order, and we would have won the game. That's unfortunate. And, of course, False Swipe got Tails, which sucks. But that'll be it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed, drop a like and video. Subscribe down below to help me out reaching. 9,000 subscribers. Check out the sponsor card coming TCG down below too. Of course, guys, use code LDF if you pick up any codes. And if you're lucky, they might have the Zacian V-Tins or the Zimzenza or maybe the Pika Rom League Battle Arena codes in stock. Maybe if they are, if not, sorry. But if they are, use code LDF. Follow me on Twitter down below too. And you know what? I am feeling a little bit better after recording this video. We did have some fun, especially at the end there. So it's cool. But yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day.